Hey there, Julian here, and welcome to Member Script 30. So in this one, all we want to do is take the amount of items on a page, turn that into a number, and then display that number somewhere. So for example, over here, what we can see is that first phase has two, so it shows two. Second phase has one, so it shows one. Third phase as well. So this is not happening because we just wrote this in Webflow. This is happening because it's counting the amount of items that are here. And these come from the member JSON. So it does actually need to just check how many items are currently on the page uh, because we cannot pull this information from Webflow. So just to take a quick look at that, let's go ahead and, for example, move our friend Webflow into phase two. And what we're going to see is that now second phase is two, first phase is one, so on and so forth. So now let's take a look at how you can actually implement that yourself. Very simple. First things first, you're going to need the script number 30. Just copy paste that and you're good to go. There is one thing that you are going to want to update and that is the following. You'll notice here how it says 2000 pull roll up numbers are pulling. Um, this number here, you may want to update. I have it set to 2000 or two seconds just because I find reliably all of my information on the page updates in less than two seconds. And I also have that matching my skeleton loaders, which of course gives us this much nicer loading experience than if it was just random. So you're going to want to update that to whatever works. I think 2000 is not bad, but also if you're not pulling things from member JSON, you're pulling them from elsewhere, it might be instant, then you can set this to like 100. So that is all you need to do in the code department, just paste it in and edit that number if you need to. Then what you need to do is the following. So find whatever item it is that you want to actually be counting. So in this case, we have these items. This is the placeholder that I've made here in Webflow. And I've added ms-code-rollup-item equals phase one. And that's because this first phase thing here. And then I have where I want the number to go. And I have ms-code-rollup-number equals phase one. And it matches the item here. So we have the same thing going for all three of these. And of course, you can do this with anything you want as many different groups on the page, as long as you match up the number to the item. So that's about it. If you have any questions, just let me know, julian at memberstack.com, and I will talk to you soon. Have a great day.